What up, what up? Vezzy Parmesan, Rise of Grind Morning Show, Hot 106, Providence, Rhode Island. Hanging out at the New England Music Seminar. My man K Dub Assist running this. K Dub, Kevin W. Reese. You know we in the building. This is how we do it. Keep it here. Kevin W. W. Reese. Ah, uh, you may remember this guy from Hot 93.7, man. Maybe. I was there for like eight years. <laughs> So was it eight years? It was a bit and a half, man. Yeah, man. So, Vezzy Parmesan now in Rhode Island doing the morning show. That's a big jump. What's it like getting up every day, getting on the air at six in the morning, and having your own four hour show with all sorts of creative freedom? It'd be a lot better if I could call you at four o'clock in the morning and wake you up. <laughs> Feel good just to know that somebody else is awake. <laughs> now, nah, um, it's really crazy, man. It, it's, it's an honor. It's very humbling. Like to go from the position I was in in Hartford, which is kind of like a wingman um, on call when you need to be, to go to the number one guy, uh, the go to guy at a radio station is really. Um, it's humbling and it's crazy to know the type of impact you can have on a daily basis rather than just on a interim per diem type basis. You went from the bottom of the list as far as interviews and yeah. and even pictures. Yeah. Even getting yeah. in there like, oh, 50 cents, right. let me get a picture. <laughs> yeah. To now, yeah. you're the number one guy at that radio station so it all automatically comes right to you. Yo, the last year and a half I was in Hartford, I didn't even try to get pictures with people. Like, for real, like I was just like, you know what, I'm not even gonna wait in line, not about it, I'm not here for the groupiness. I just wanna, you know, I'd love to have my picture with, you know, whoever, but, you know, I just keep it moving now. They just throw me in front of the camera and I can't take it, but, um, you know, it's fun. It's definitely humbling. It's cool to be the guy that's just like, you know, you got to do this interview. I don't care what you say, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I definitely get a lot of good looks, gotten a lot of great exposure on, uh, you know, the major hip-hop blogs, even MTV's picked me up a couple times. I was on MTV on Friday morning, which is really dope. So, um, you know, it's crazy. Like, my world's flipped. What, how do you think radio has changed since the PPM rating system has, has come aboard? It was about a year ago it started. Um, not to like knock Arbitron or anything, but I think the PPM um, rating system is something that's still, it's still like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's still a trial and error type thing. I don't think it's a perfected format. Uh, it's definitely changed in terms of making sure that the listeners are more in tune with you and being more about like, delivering clear content that's going to be perfect every time you know it's a lot more pressure on radio personalities even program directors who are selecting the music in general as to um we can't talk that much anymore yeah you really can't <laughs> it's like you get seven seconds to talk unless you're a morning show you get like two minutes to talk and you better be funny otherwise your ratings are going to be you know what that's i mean right now how do you think the ppm system we know how it affects us yeah, yeah. being on the radio mm -hmm. how does it affect the unsigned artists the folks that are coming in here to the new England Music Seminar and they desperately they want a deal they want to make it as an artist they want airplay how does PPM affect their grind it affects it a lot because um, I mean record labels have always had a great influence on what gets played on the radio on commercial radio and um, now it's really more about making and delivering a song that people are gonna enjoy and if you don't make a song that people are gonna enjoy people aren't going to A, play it on, programs aren't going to play it on the radio station, and B, people are going to change the station. It, PPM is so crazy that it can, it can zero down to, all right, every time this Jay-Z song comes on, people are changing the station. So maybe we shouldn't play Jay-Z anymore. Right, you and, know what I mean? and, and these artists, they need to understand that they're not fighting for airtime with each other. Right. They may be fighting with airtime with a Red Cafe. Yeah. With a French Montana. Yeah. You know, with, with, Artists that have a bigger buzz, that are known on the underground circuit or in the streets, they're fighting for airtime too, right? right? Yeah, absolutely. And even cats like Red Cafe and French Montana are perfect examples. They're fighting to get their records on the radio, you know what I mean? They're good in mixed shows. They're good, you know, as long as they can build it up. But they're still looking for that one hit that's going to get played in regular rotation across the country. And it's like... All right, back to the lab again, back to the lab, that's not it, back to the lab again. And, you know, it's just, it's a struggle because they're fighting with the Kanye West and Jay-Z's who are automatically go in until PPM tells them that that record is not the record for them. 
All right, Vezi Parmesan, he's going to be on a panel here today at the New England Music Seminar 2011. You have a very interesting name. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> uh, well, the Vezi part has been a nickname since I was a youngin, and then uh, I was told by this guy um, named K Dub oh so long ago that I needed a last name. And. <laughs> You know, a last name was critical in terms of branding yourself and being original because nobody cares what a Vezzi is. Nobody, I get called Veggie and Reggie and, and <laughs> Vinny and Linny and so he was like, you need an identifier, something that's going to identify you. And he was like, Parmesan. <laughs> Everybody likes Parmesan, whether it's chicken, veal. Actually, you know. I suggested mozzarella or Parmesan, and you chose Parmesan. Yeah, because mozzarella is just, you know, it's a little over the top. No, no, no. His oh. name could have been Vezzi Mozzarella. <laughs> Parmesan's got a better flow. I like it. You know, they even wrote it in my contract, which was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> they refused to let me change my name, and I wanted to, to be more political. But they wanted the Parmesan. Throw some cheese on it. All right, man. This is the big cheese right here, Vezzi Parmesan. Look for this guy to run your favorite radio station somewhere in the near future. Kevin W. 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 Rich.